Hey everybody, Ricky Adam Handicapping Thoroughbred Racing on Wednesday afternoon, October the 26th, and this is by Equibase Winter Circle East Coast Racing Report. Let's go to beautiful Belmont Park first for race four in their card, 2.36 p.m. Eastern Post Time, eight and a half furlong route test on Belmont's inner turf track, three-year-olds and up race for a starter allowance tag of $40,000. Contenders number three, exclusive strike, number 10, Dart Cove, number four, Demand My Thin Legend and number 11 Rigby. Number three exclusive strike is the pace profile leader in this allowance field, racing at or about today's distance of eight and a half for lungs on the turf, has produced power run performances in each of his last five starts, hitting the board in four of those adventures, winning three times in this recent streak of racing consistency. He's coming off back to back power run wins in his last two outings, gets a return ride from jockey Paco Lopez in his today. He's been on his irons on six previous occasions, hitting the board in four, winning three en route to a positive 113% profit in the process. Number 10, Dark Cove, the morning line favorite, takes a slight class drop as the overall speed leader in this field is turned into a quartet of power runs in his last five starts. Race 4 summary, number 3, exclusive strike, tops my contenders list, which also includes number 10, Dark Cove, number 4, the mine, Manton Legend, and number 11, Rigby, 310, 411 in the fourth from Belmont Park. Let's go to Keeneland Racecourse in Kentucky next. Race 8, 4.52 p.m. Eastern Post Time. Eight and a half furlongs on the turf. Phillies and mares, three years old and up racing for $58,000. Contenders, number 8, Fugitive Angel. Number 4, Snowtop Mountain. Number 2, Forest Uproar. And number 9, Who, Why? Number 8, Fugitive Angel, a pace profile leader in surveillance field today, racing at or about today's distance of 8.5 furlongs on the turf, has hit the board in four straight starts, winning twice, including a power run win his last time out. Number 4, Snowtop Mountain, has produced a quartet of power runs in his last five, including a pair of power run wins being embedded in this recent streak of racing consistency. Race 8 summary, number 8, Fugitive Angel, tops my contenders list today, which also includes number 4, Snowtop Mountain, number 2, Forest Uproar, and number 9, Who, Why, 8, 4, 2, 9 in the 8th from Keeneland. Bonus long shots, Charlestown, race 3, entry number 1, Hello Hollywood, a 15 to 1 bomb, drops the class by 8 units, nice overall speed for the 7 for a long sprint. Hawthorne race course, near Chicago, race 2, the 9 to 2 shot, number 5, Dixie Shoes, a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony Qualifier, drops the class by 7 units. The overall speed leader in this maiden field, racing at or about today's distance of 8 and one half furlongs on the turf. So handicapping for both Belmont Park and Keeneland as we open up with our racing week here on the East Coast. Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle, reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.